All right, everybody, I'm Austin, and this is the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. What would you say if I told you there were two unicorns in this box? Pegasi? Um, which one only had one? I, I don't remember. Uh, you'd probably say that they were a lot smaller than you thought, because they were supposed to be horses, and they shouldn't fit in the box, especially as a pair. Uh, I'm just going to cut to it, bud. This is a box from Gary Yoshino. If you meet anybody who knows more about cloisonne or Japanese antiques than Gary Yoshino, uh, not all antiques, I'm sure, he has a specialization, but uh, you let me know, because I'd like to talk to that person as well. But I spoke with this man, uh, Gary Yoshino. <clears throat> He's got a lot of items on eBay. I didn't buy these items off of eBay. I bought them personally from Gary, uh, who I met through Cole, uh, CGC... Uh, I forget the numbers. Um, CGC, I'm sure, 66. CGC 66. So in this box are things that just don't even belong in the same world as me. I mean, I'm going <laughs> to go out on a real limb here and say, uh, Gary Yoshino and I, in any other world than ours, would probably have never spoken a day in our lives. I'm a mechanic. He's a Asian arts expert. <clears throat> and I started talking to him because I saw Cloisonne on eBay. And uh, it wasn't even his. I just, you know, we just started having a chat. This is boxed so incredibly. Uh, I just got it today. I have to check on it because it, it is genuinely the most incredible thing you could ever possibly see. Oh my goodness, okay. I'm gonna set some stuff over here. Hopefully it won't be in our way. Uh, that looks good, okay. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get a little, <laughs> I'm gonna get a little crazy right now, okay? This is an absolutely gorgeous hardbound book from Gary, who wrote it. He is the author of this book. Now, two of the items I have in here are in that book. They're famous. I've got two famous things for you guys today. Oh my god. Would you look at that stack. Oh my goodness. If anyone ever has anything bad to say about Gary, they can say it to me first and we'll have a talk. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to show you what that says. And I'll let you uh I'll let you squirm a bit. Now when I said I had two unicorns in here, I'll let you read that too. I hope I'm getting in on that. I can't see what I'm filming right now, so so fingers crossed I'm in the correct general vicinity. <clears throat> My hands are shaking. This is this is actual treasure, people. I'm not kidding. Definitely the only one of these you're gonna see. I mean, you know, there could be more out there somewhere. But you know what? This one's mine. This one's ours. You and me. Get this stuff out of the way. These items deserve tremendous respect. Just gonna set him down there for one minute. <clears throat> He's not even touching the floor, I swear. Not even his box. These deserve an elevated position in the world. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, I'm gonna see if I'm in frame here. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> today's a good day to be us. Oh, you're about to see something that just, I mean, the history of it must be incredible. It is an incredible thing. It's something everybody would have owned, but you would have had to be a pretty wealthy person to get one of these about 100 years ago, I think. It just says brush, huh? It's a very unimpressive title for what's coming out of this paper right now. Oh. Oh my goodness. 
Are you seeing that? Let's come in. Let's come into the light of this. Okay. Now, <laughs> that's pretty special, right? A hundred year old hairbrush. Bristles left in it. Must be horsehair. I mean, I, I really am shaking. I'm going to try and maintain any semblance of civility. Oh, goodness gravy. I'm, I'm not even going to touch the bristles again. They deserve to stay exactly where they've been for 100 years. So that appears to be a cherub. Maybe a dragon or a fish head? I'm, I'm really not sure. Let's come in on it. Is that not one of the most lovely things you've ever seen? I believe that would be called repoussé. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that type of metal relief. I mean, what a beautiful thing. Yeah, we're starting to get to the meat and potatoes of it now, aren't we? You see what I'm talking about? You see that hint of uh, purple there? Oh my God, let's look at this. Imagine the wealth required to have this just be a hairbrush that no one ever saw, no one ever knew it existed besides the one person brushing their hair with it. This is Meiji era Japanese cloisonne. <clears throat> In fact, you know what? <clears throat> Allow me, because Gary sent a printout from his book with all the information we could ever want and it's going to be so much better than me oh my oh my goodness I just want to be impressed with myself for a second because the very first sentence says it is repose which means I correctly identified it without the help of Google or anything I'm just uh, I'm gonna take a second to brag about that so the artist is unmarked a uh, brush consisting of silver-toned handle with repoussé design of a cherub holding a large fish, ornate scroll design along the handle's border, reverse side of handle similarly modeled, the body of the brush incorporating a mounted oval shape, cloisonné enamel uh, panel depicting several floral heads and roundels within a formal shield barrier border. <clears throat> Sorry, public speaking isn't my strong point. Worked within a deep purple jinbari, silver background, um, inset with a profusion of mosaic-like pieces of silver foil, the bristles inset with a wooden body finished with a metal frame, handle marked G Silver. <laughs> I mean, could, could something be more special to just serve such a mundane purpose? I'm not sure what G silver means, and maybe this isn't Meiji era. Oh, no, it does say it's marked Meiji era, or I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure to Gary's best estimate, it is a Meiji era piece. I mean, am I wrong in saying that that is magical and belonged to a princess in a fairy tale? And now it belongs to me, a large mechanic from America, and that is just the strangest turn of events in this little thing's life, I'm sure. And I'm going to promise him right here and now that I will not touch him very much in the future. I, my hands do not belong on something like this. What a gorgeous thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. I, I am stunned. That must be where it's marked G Silver. Of course it's upside down and my camera's probably not going to focus on something that tiny. Yeah, I'd say upside down that says G Silver, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. I wonder if that means graded silver? So is this, is this also a silver handled cloisonne Meiji era hairbrush? Um, I think so. I think so. Wow. I mean, be jealous. <laughs> or don't. Just enjoy it with me. You don't even have to be jealous. I'm doing this with and for you guys. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have considered myself in this. I promise not to use this hairbrush. Do you see the ultra-fine wire work? 
that purple foil in the background, that is what makes it Jinbari. <clears throat> I'm literally shaking. I, I'm trying to tone it down. I apologize. This is so beautiful. Anyone can let me know if I ever mispronounce anything or, you know, anything of that nature. I'd love to know the right way to do things and the right way to talk about things. I always attempt to be correct. I mean, but I'm open to new information and that's how I've learned so much to begin with. So, so make that your policy, you know, if anyone ever tells you you're wrong, just accept it, move on. And now you've got new information. Oh my God. Gary Yoshino, thank you so much, sir. This is the most beautiful thing I may have ever seen in my life.